Morning, Marcus Conti. I guess I got to talk about Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> Brett Kavanaugh. The new name, Supreme Court uh, Justice pick. Donald J. Trump has picked another Supreme Court Justice. His name is Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, first, I want to talk about one other thing, right? So Dems are... Uh, I was watching some new media and it uh, kind of got under my skin, so it's time to talk about it, right? So a lot of new media people who are supportive of Trump and I support their support of Trump. I don't have any opinion of that, right? But uh, I, I, fun, I fundamentally, I think that 90% of the people who do this sort of commentary that I'm doing, 90% uh, of them have no idea what they're talking about when it comes to economics and the grip of Wall Street, the definitions of oligarchy and monopoly and, and these sorts of things, and just how corrupt and, and deceptive Wall Street is and corporate America is and how they manipulate the numbers and how deregulation works to, uh, to a disadvantage to all people, how um, insider trading is the, is the single uh, greatest motivator. So I, I say to those people, yes, the Democratic Party has a giant riff in it, right? There's these two schools of thought. There's the progressives who Look, all of all Americans want universal single payer health care. All Americans are not all, but a, a, a majority of people want single payer universal uh, health care free for all people, right? They want a free college tuition at city and state universities. Everybody wants to see a de escalation of the military, de escalation of counterinsurgency wars de-escalation of the spending, right? Everybody wants to see the tax rate for corporations get hiked and, and them held to the tax burden like everybody else so that the money doesn't bleed out the top, right? Everybody wants that. These are not, these are not fringe ideas. These are purely American census ideas, right? They want to get money out of politics. They want to stop. They want to, They want term limits on the politicians that they don't trust anymore. So, having said all that, I, I um, there's this other school of thought, and and the mo most importantly, and then I'll leave it there, is that the Democrats, there's a school of thought that somehow you're going to get those things inside of the Democratic Party, and that's Justice Democrats, the 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 Our Revolution folks, right? Good people, but but you know incredibly naive to think that the the you have to attack the court the power brokers the people that control the money and as long as you play into the hands of the corporations uh, the Democrats the corporations will always have their way with you if you play into the hands of the Republicans the same deal so that's my difference that there is this and people say it's a fringe idea the independents who want these things is fringe it's not fringe at all there's probably 40, 50 million people in America that, that are awake and, and sidelined because they're not involved. They, they, they refuse to participate in, in, the, uh, in the shenanigans, right? So they'll come up again, right? And, and guarantee you that if, if there is a, a significant rising, like, like a Sanders-style uh, candidate that comes up as an independent running for president, that you will see all of those progressives defect to that side. So don't kid yourself. That that idea is is not fringe at all. So having said that, let's talk about Brett Kavanaugh. We get to say Brett Kavanaugh now for another 40 years. Brett Kavanaugh, the new su Supreme Court justice appointee, another the second of Donald Trump. Now, first thing you realize is that he's white. Uh oh. Trump's a racist. He picked another white guy. 53-year-old white guy. Ooh, ooh, the sensitive racists now are gonna have something to say about that, right? He's uh, <laughs> a white guy. Uh, he was born in D.C., Yale University um, Law School graduate. He was a, uh, a, a, a Court of Appeals judge appointed by Bush in D.C. He's a run-in-the-mill Republican, you know, he's a Republican on the outside, Democrat on the inside on social issues. He's a he's a he's a he's a run in the mill pick, safe, right? He's pro corporate. Right? There's, there's no change here. This is this is just another another corporate shield. This is, you know he was he was, he was uh, breeded breeded to to, uh, to 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 fit this role. I hate when people fucking sit next to me. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> he's he's anti universal health care as um, 
what's her name? Um, Elizabeth Warren, Pocahontas pointed it out, right? Said that he's anti, he's anti um, universal health care. So what? Look, turn around, you jerk off, Miss Pocahontas. All your Democratic colleagues are anti universal health care. So why are you pointing at the at the Supreme Court justice? So point at your own people first, right? I had to move my seat. Damn. So so um so he's he's anti universal health care. He he's uh he, he'll probably uphold Roe v. Way Wade for, for now. So there's I don't think there's any there's any worries right there about uh, abortion becoming illegal except uh, with this pick. Uh, well so the big one and I'm sure that um, the title of this is Vince Foster is Rolling in His Grave. Now, who is Vince Foster? <laughs> the big pick. And I'm sure Alex Jones and uh, Roger Stone are going to have fun with this one, right? Ken Starr, the star, firstly, firstly, this pick, right? Uh, Brett Kavanaugh was instrumental in the Ken Starr uh, report, which was the, the, the report to impeach Bill Clinton, the president at the time, the sitting U.S. president in the late 90s. The Ken, Ken Starr led this uh, charge and issued this report over the Mon Monica Lewinsky situation. So, so Brett Kavanaugh was, was one of the lead attorneys in that case. So he's totally anti-fucking Clinton, right? <laughs> You gotta love Trump. I mean, he picked this guy with this with this Trump, you know, with this anti Bill Clinton thing, right? What else? That that's one thing. But even bigger than that is the Vince Foster, right? Who is Vince Foster, right? We only know bits and pieces of the Vince Foster story. But Vince Foster was the 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 le, you know folk folk legend says that he was a um, he was very close to Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton. And he had a lot of dirt on him, and then Hillary had him killed. Right? That's the Vince, Vince Foster story, right? That he, he was deputy White House counsel under, under uh, Clinton for the first six months. Right? So it's the early 90s, 92, 93. And then, and, then, and then Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton, he had dirt on him, and they fucking killed him. <laughs> Is it true? I don't know. He died of suicide with two shots, two bullet holes in the back of his head. So it's very likely. So, um, you know, just summation. I don't want to keep this too long. It's not really worth it. But the Supreme Court will, will go on with uh, Brett Kavanaugh. They'll fight him. The Democrats will, oh, he's fucking, he's pro-ice. Oh, he wants ice. <laughs> They'll come up with some stupid reason to uh, slow it down. Not because he's a bad guy. He's a, he's a good pick. He's a, he's, a, he's a Yale kind of, you know, fucking yuppie scum. <laughs> there's no, there's no, there's no groundbreaking guy here. This is not a guy who's, you know, who's who's anti-corporate, who's who wants to decrease military spending. He's he's just a corporatist. He's a he's just run of the mill, you know, bread for the job kind of fits right in with the rest of them. You know, he'll be in there another forty years. He's only fifty, so he'll probably outlive a lot of them. And. Um, well, we'll see what happens. Let's see how the uh, media spins it. Um, oh, Rachel Maddow was on TV saying that the, that this guy was also he wrote a paper in 2009. It's very it's very minuscule. It's not even worth thinking about. But he wrote a piece after he did all the Clinton investigation stuff. He he actually released a piece saying that he doesn't think that that uh, presidents should be uh, indicted and prosecuted. You know, for it just slows them down or something. I don't know. Whatever, for whatever that means. But the, of course, the 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 lunatics on the left, the lunatic Rachel Maddow, that was the highlight of her. The I only watched the show because it was streaming live on YouTube, and I clicked on it. And of course, that's what she's talking about. She's talking about the one line where where Kavanaugh was um, was 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 pro president. And that's the reason Trump picked him. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative reporter, YouTube blogger, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.